Hello everyone, this is Mayurvad. In this video, we are going to discuss the third question of Google Kickstart 2020 Round B. Okay, so name of the problem is Robot Path Decoding. Link to the problem is shared in the description section. I request you all to please go and read the question very thoroughly. So the question says that we have a grid, basically a matrix which consists of squares or cells consisting of 10 to the power 9 columns and 10 to the power 9 rows okay so numbering starts from 1 okay now initially we are standing at cell indexed 1 comma 1 that is first row and first column we have been given a program okay where a program is a string of characters representing movements in four cardinal directions that is north south east and west okay now in the program we can be given special instructions in the form of x parenthesis y where x is a number between 2 and 9 inclusive and y is a non empty sub program okay so y is also a program a sub program okay and the special instruction will be of form something these are some of the basic examples of the special instruction so we have to tell that after following the program where will we land what will be our destination in this question since the planet is Taurus the first and the last columns are adjacent so moving east from column 10 to the power 9 will move the rover to column 1 and moving south from row 10 to the power 9 will move the rover to 1. Similarly, moving west from column 1 will move the rover to 10 to the power 9 and moving north from row 1 will move the rover to 10 to the power 9th row. Now basically, how to solve this question? Okay, suppose we are given a program north, east, east, west, south, right? So we will be calculating the displacement on following this program. So first we moved north that is one row up then two times east that is two times to the right then one times one west that is one times to the left and then last uh, south that means once one time we go down to the next row right. So our total displacement is 0 comma 1 that is our row will not change but our column will be increased by plus 1 right so this is a valid solution suppose we have a special instruction in our program then in that case we can expand our special instruction and then we can solve it in the similar way as we did before right but suppose we have a program in which we have our nested special instruction right because in the special instruction this y is also a non-empty sub program right and this sub program can also consist of a special instruction like in this case given in the question okay so what we will do in this case is that first we need to expand the innermost y to get a sub program right so basically we will be getting a sub program which will not consist of any special instruction now this sub program will act as a y for the outer special instruction right so there is no need to expand this special instruction by because if we calculate the displacement due to this y and multiply it with this x so it will give us the displacement that is due to this special instruction okay so there is no need to expand it basically first we have to solve our y the innermost y multiply it with x to get our new y and so on right now our innermost y is also a non-empty sub program right so basically it will be solved in a way discussed above right so we will keep on adding 
the values due to the direction and if we get a special instruction first we will recursively solve for our y multiply the displacement due to that y with the x right and add that displacement to our outer instructions right so we will add our displacement to this n and this will give us our solution right so basically it can be done with the help of recursion whenever we get a start of our special instruction we are going to recursively call our function to solve for our y and then using that answer we will basically multiply it with our x and then using that answer we can get our total answer right so basically instead of recursion implementation we are going to discuss the stack implementation as a stack can also be used to implement this function okay <coughs> if you like my video if you like my explanation please like my video and share my video and if you are interested in more such videos for your technical interview preparation please subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching and keep coding and keep practicing thank you so now i have already implemented the code let's discuss it basically first i have taken the input of the program then i have taken two stacks one is the displacement stack and other is the factor stack factor stack is basically used to store the value of x right and displacement is the value of the displacement due to the y right now initially my displacement is 0 and my factor is of 1 so i will iterate my program if i encounter a number right between 1 to 9 any basically an integer then i know that a special instruction is going to start so basically for that special instruction that is the innermost special instruction so i have to calculate my displacement due to the y as we discussed and then using that displacement due to y multiplying it with x i can get the displacement due to my whole program right so basically first i have to calculate the displacement due to y so the displacement till now we have done we will first push that in our stack so that we can store that somewhere right for example in this case we have till now calculated the displacement due to this north now our special instruction is going to start so this displacement i have to store it in my stack and then calculate my displacement due to this once i get the answer due to this i can basically pop my solution my displacement due to north and then I can add it to this answer, right? So basically that is what I have done. Now my new I have taken my new factor and my new displacement again, starting with 0, 0, right? If I encounter a closing bracket, right, that means my special instruction has ended at this point of time. So I am back to my main displacement or my main program. So I will basically uh, first mod my answer with 10 to the power 9 as if I am standing at 10 to the power 9 plus 1 that means I am standing at 1 basically right. So I will multiply with my x and get the displacement due to special instruction now i will get my previous displacement on which i was working when i encountered my special instruction and add my displacement due to my special instruction to it right so basically i have solved that part till now else if we are getting basic characters basic cardinal directions then i have to increment my uh, displacement dec or decrement my displacement according to the direction right so let's check if this code works or not okay one more thing is that 
at the end we have to add plus 1 in both of the terms why because initially we are standing at cell 1 comma 1 right we are not standing at cell 0 comma 0 so basically we have to add initial coordinates over here if initially i was standing at 2 comma 2 then i would have added 2 and 2 but i am initially standing at cell 1 comma 1 so i have added 1 comma 1 okay now if at any point of time i have traveled minus 5 that means i have traveled 5 cells back from 10 to the power 9 right so that is what 10 over here and then i have displayed my output let's check if it works or not okay so judgment is running and as you can see both the test cases the small one and the big one both have passed successfully okay one similar question of this kind if you guys like to practice is this question number 394 on lead code questions name is decode string okay you guys can try this problem if you like my video if you like my explanation please like my video and share my video and if you are interested in more such videos for your technical interview preparation please subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching and keep coding and keep practicing thank you